All right, folks, I'll be honest with you. I'm craving a burger, man. I just want a good, delicious burger. I know y'all see me on the show all the time cooking the wild game, the fish, the seafood, but sometimes you just need a good burger. But I need one specific ingredient to make the burger that I want to make, and that is crawfish. So it's still very much crawfish season here in South Louisiana, and I'm going to go try to catch some of my own crawfish for this special burger I want to make. But the first thing we got to get is some bait. So let's get out the cast net, start throwing, and see if we could catch what we need. All right, so this is a brackish water bayou. Uh, hoping to catch some mullet, hoping to catch some pogies. I just need enough for about, I don't know, eight nets or so. There we go. Mullet. All right, got one mullet and a crab. Okay. I guess we could do crack crab in a crawfish net. We could try it out, can't we? If I can get him off of there. Get him out of my net. Got him. All right. What the world? Another crab. How about that? And the giant garfish head. Okay. Ooh, got a few crabs on that one. Nice. So clearly a commercial gar fisherman uses this spot to throw his scraps. We gotta set this over here. Out my way. Another crab. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe this will just be a crab <laughs> cast netting for crab show, y'all. All right. Kind of fat blue crab, honestly. He's kind of fat. That's not a bad one. Hell, we'll see, y'all. I don't know. It turns into a blue crab show. It turns into a blue crab show. to add to the pot. How about that? Ah, nice crab. Two crabs, huh? Dang. Boy, them crabs are tick tick. Yo, Lord, look at the size of that one, yo. Golly. Look at the size of that freaking crab. He almost stretches out across my whole basket. Damn. All right. All right, y'all. Well, that's the haul from the first spot. Uh, <laughs> not what I was expecting, but we got a few crabs to add to the little burger dinner. So, and we got a mullet and another smaller mullet under there to put in our, there was my crawfish nets. So I'm gonna go try one more spot before we head out, but I do want to try a crushed crab in a crawfish net and see if that's something that works or not. All right, so now I can get a little bit more out into the middle out here. Hopefully get closer to where those mullet are hanging. There we go. All right. Okay. Oh, let go. No. Alright, that trout don't belong in there. He's going back home. We did get us a freshwater catfish that we can use. Alright. Alright, y'all. I didn't have the GoPro roll in there. Sorry about that. But I did catch a nice Rio Grande cichlid. 
there was also a red ear i had to put back but that is definitely crawfish bait i, I can't legally put him back in the water he's an invasive so he's crawfish bait all right some pogies yes indeed that's good bait right there y'all pogies is good bait that's what i like to see all right folks well i cast netted for a little while and here is my haul these are my fish that i'm going to use for bait in my crawfish nets so we've got one freshwater catfish one rio grande cichlid uh, a mullet mullet and some pogies and then a crab that died and i wanted to try the crabs anyway and then we've got just a few crabs to go ahead and boil with the crawfish when we cook the crawfish that was nice little land out there i did not expect that cast netting crabs is pretty cool i'd like to find a spot where i could cast another bunch of them that would be a really cool video to do all right now we gotta head down to the little crawfish hole let's see what we can catch all right folks i have arrived at my fishing destination Time to start baiting up. All right, that's one. I think I got a couple holes in there. So we'll set two here. One, two. Okay, we'll set out two up here. Okay. that in there all right there we go and get that down get that down okay perfect all right perfect get that down there yo i like it all right One and two. All right, let's go check and see. Uh, I can see that one. Nothing. All right, All right y'all. Well, I came to a whole nother spot. First spot didn't work out. This one I got a good feeling about. I don't need much. I don't need enough to boil for everyone. Just a few to cook this little burger I'm thinking of. Uh, I do think some of these traps need to be checked anyway. So it's a good thing I came here. I'll run some of the traps, get my nets out, then run my nets and then hopefully we should have what we need. Thank y'all for tuning in. Once again, this is outside the levees. We get outdoors and do all kinds of stuff. We might be brim fishing one day, crawfishing the next, catfishing the next, hunting hogs the next. We do a little bit of everything. We are here in South Louisiana. I am willing to travel, but we do the majority of our content here in South Louisiana. And I thank you so much for rocking with me. Now let's go get some crawfish. Put one right there. Yes, indeed. This one looks good, y'all. Oh, and a baby alligator. Awesome. That's not going to be fun. Oh, boy. It's always something. Let's see if he'll get come out first. There he goes. Come on, baby. Go out. There you go. Okay. All right. He went home. Let me get my basket here. There we go, y'all. All right. Come on. Y'all come on out of here. Come on. There we go. Trap is checked. Baby alligator is out. Good for him. Trap is checked. Baby alligator is out. Good for him. I want to try to 
stay away from my net so I don't spook the crawfish in the net. That's just from one trap. Maybe alligator's trying to get him some crawfish snacks, huh? Whoo, man, they got something in this trap. I seen them. Holy smokes, I think that's the biggest one I've ever seen in there. All right, this is insane how big this crawfish is. Look at how big that crawfish is. Wow. I think that's all baby alligators, yo. Look, there's one. I see him. Yeah, I'm surrounded by baby alligators. Look, there's one right here. See him? All right, let me get the hell out of here because I know mama is somewhere nearby. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, good crawfish. Ooh, the monster's trying to get out. <laughs> that monster's trying to get out. Oh, got some in that one. All right. Hey, y'all got to see it from catching the bait, putting the bait in the nets, getting the nets out, trying different spots. Just happened to have some traps out here and that's where they all came from. I could stay out here all day or really, they bite better in the evening, but I've got what I need. So thank you for tuning in. Now let's get our butts in the kitchen and make that burger. All right, y'all, the unexpected crabs got boiled first. Uh, all I did was Fill this little pot up, you know, maybe a, a quarter of the way. Put probably two to three tablespoons of K-Fred in there. And then another two to three tablespoons of salt. And I'll put some ice in there at the end after they boiled for about uh, five to seven minutes. Somewhere in that neighborhood. I'll put a good bit of ice in there to stop the cooking process. Crawfish are going in. I didn't season that water too, too much like you would on a regular crawfish bowl because... We're gonna do something with these once they're boiled. There you go. All right, y'all got my crawfish in an egg wash and I've got, this is that air fryer, Louisiana fish fry product that goes on fish for the air fryer mixed with flour and that's a 50-50 mix. It's a very good mix that you get from Louisiana, but for me, I thought the flavor was a little strong, so I cut it down with some flour, and that also stretched it out a little bit. Just get my crawfish in there. And get that covered up. Mix your crawfish around, get them ready to go into the fryer. All right, and that's what you're looking for there. Those are done, let's set those aside. All right, and here's my fresh ground meat. That's from our local deli shop called Tags, and they did me an 80-20 mix of ground beef. I wanna go ahead and season that up with some garlic powder, some of our boy K-Fred. And some kosher salt. All right, I know you've heard me talk about it before. I've got some hog's head cheese here and watch what I'm about to do with this. As always, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about hog's head cheese. Look at that goodiness with the pieces of hogs and the jalapenos and the cheddar cheese that's all about to go with this dish. Stay tuned, let me show you how. All right, and I'm dropping two slices of white American cheese on it. All right, chop it up, get it in a bowl, and put it in a microwave to get it melted down. All right, now take some of that melted down hog's head cheese, get that on top of your french fries. That will be your side dish. <laughs> That's your side dish for your burger. Now this one has jalapeno and cheese in it, and I got it from Tags, Beat Market, and Shelmet, Louisiana. So when you come 
down to visit St. Bernard, that is a spot you want to go. There we go, beautiful. And we just wanna to top that off with some cheddar. Yes, indeed. How about that, y'all? All right, so now we got a toasted brioche bun. We got our burger with white American cheese. And let's go ahead and put some ramelade on the top bun. All right, and now the real star of the show, the fried crawfish tails. I mean, come on, bro. All right, y'all, there it is. I mean, this is what I do on Outside the Levees. This is why you should subscribe. This is why you should watch each week, watch each one we put out, because you never know what you're going to get on this show. Come on now. Can I get an amen? Leave me an amen in the comments. Thank you so much for being a part of what I do. Mm, I wish y'all were here to eat this with me. Now I got to eat this all by myself. Come on, man. See y'all next time.